everyone how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great so as i promised i am back with one more interesting topic and again it deals with the link i know uh, the link query is the more interesting topic that you could think of in any coding language so if you have if you are a beginner uh, to the link you want to be an expert then do go through the recording or the session that i have done um you can just click on the i button at the top and it will take you to the series of uh, sessions uh, which have which i have placed in a particular playlist so i hope you all become a great expert and link okay so let's let let's get started let's not keep you all waiting let me start with the problem statement so today in this session i will be converting my data table sorting column to a array format now why i have brought up this uh, discussion or brought up this session is that i have pay- faced many times where uh, i had uh, i i usually deal with macros so uh, for the macro the input we needed from an excel file which when we read it through read range it will be in uh, a format of uh, let's say uh, the data table right so uh we need to pass array of data into macro so that macro can take uh perform certain actions uh as per the requirement goes to the as per the organization level or anything now to deal with this uh how do we convert our given data table or fetch data table into an array format is the main question or main uh difficulty right now we have a link query a small link query and it's uh very effective and we can within a fraction of second we will get the row details that gets converted if you have thousands of rows we don't need to worry about it because we have one link query that can convert entire row into uh, array format and uh, this would be a, a easy way out compared to our again a for each loop method Okay, now let's write our code. Let's go into the development part and uh, get the assign activity. Now, how do we get the assign activity? Is type assign in the activity panel. You will see here. Same thing. Let's get the build data table. Um, let's create data table. We have text text and one. Let's keep it as it is. Let's do one more thing. Text two and. Uh, Two. Let's say text text three. Yeah. Okay. So let's give it as three over here, and let's say text three. Okay. We have three uh, rows: text uh, and text two and text three. Let's name it as text one for the better understanding. So text one, two, and three we have. Let's create the data table dt okay now since we need to convert into array let's create an array variable okay array var okay now let's change this code or type into system array how did i get this is array string let's mention that array variable over here let's open this let's write our link query let's start with from okay row in dt dot as enumerable now you can see about this as enumerable uh, function in in my uh, as i mentioned earlier in my previous recordings do go through them you will be able to get a better grasp on how to write the link query for this particular problem statement as enumerable select okay open the bracket now what we will do is um we row of our column was this column 1 we need column one now this is we are not sure right so as per now we know that this is the string but 
uh, in our through excel it can be of any type so let's convert this into string type okay now flood uh, this gets closed over here this will be closed now what the next step we need to do is that we need to make our make it as a write to array open and close bracket okay so let's see what we did now and what is the error that we see here it says you cannot convert of a character okay so from row in bt dot as enumerable select okay see okay let me see what is i think this is the problem ro Entire this thing we are going to convert, right? So that's what I was mis mistakenly placed over here, the bracket. So anyway, now this is done. Let's uh, let's do one thing for each. Just to see if the values are added or values are present in array of variable that we have assigned. Let's do a right line for the current item. Let's see. We need to have only the this result should print only first column, which is text one, two, three. Yep. Our code ran. Let's see the output, and that's what are the expected results. So let me open this again and for. your information of your, your uh, idea how it is done so basically i have created a element for uh, from dt and i am selecting them uh, of select e column row and push it into array okay so that is done uh, this is how you convert your data table uh, of certain column into array format Now that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, session, and um, hopefully I'll bring a few more very interesting topics in upcoming days. Uh, before we close off, uh, I would like to again thank you for all your support, all your help, uh, everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's meet again uh, with one more interesting topic. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, goodbye have a nice day